Hi everyone, today I'm going to take you through step 8 of my Adobe Edge Animate tutorial. So now that we've converted our rugby ball to a symbol, which we did in step 7, we can now begin to make it rotate. So to work within our rugby ball symbol, we need to go onto the main stage and double click the rugby ball. And now you'll notice that the rest of the stage area has been greyed out. This is because we're only working within the rugby ball symbol and any change that we make within the symbol will not affect anything that's on the main stage. And to begin this process we're going to be following the next seven sub steps within this step which is step 8. We'll be making 180 degree rotations of the rugby ball every 0.5 seconds up until we've rotated 900 degrees or 2.5 revolutions then we will be making the ball rotate another 45 degrees for the final 0.5 seconds so the ball's final resting position will be on its side and right now I'm going to take you through these seven sub steps so to begin with step 8a we need to make sure that this playhead is at 0 minutes and 0 seconds like it is now. Step 8b we're going to click on this toggle pin here which will give us the ability to create the animation. So click and now you'll notice that the symbol has turned into a blue colour and a little blue pin has been added on top of the playhead. This means that we're ready to start creating animations and since you'll want to know what these symbols do here I'll walk you through them. This symbol here is called the auto keyframe mode and what this does is it will automatically create keyframes between the start position and the position of the playhead symbol. The symbol next to it is called the auto transition mode. This symbol enables automatic generation of transitions within the keyframes created by the auto keyframe mode button. And the blue toggle pin we clicked on earlier gives the ability to create the animations using the capabilities from the two previous symbols. So we're going to move on to step 8c. So we will move the playhead here to 0.5 seconds exactly and we need to leave this pin here at the beginning and to carry on to step 8D we're going to click once on the rugby ball so that it's active and you can tell that it's active by the the blue box which is outside of this rugby ball and to make it rotate, we'll move over to the transform section of the property sidebar and then change this rotation value here from 0 to 180. And now you'll notice that the rugby ball symbol has rotated 180 degrees and you'll also see some keyframes generated between 0 and 180 degrees and that this orange line here means that the animation is created between those two keyframes. So to continue on to step 8e we're going to drag the playhead to one second exactly. Make sure that the rugby ball is still active and in the transform section of the property sidebar we're going to add on another 180 degrees to this rotation value so 180 plus 180 is 360 and now you'll see that the rugby ball has rotated a full rotation so it's gone from 0 to 180 and then from 180 to 360 degrees degrees after one second. Step 8F 
we're going to drag the playhead from 1 second to 1.5 seconds like so make sure that this rugby ball is still active and then in the rotation property of the transform section we're going to add on another 180 degrees on this value so 360 plus 180 is 540 and you'll see that the rugby ball has rotated one and a half revolutions over 1.5 seconds and just in case you haven't already noticed there seems to be a pattern in how these steps are being carried out so for each sub-step we're dragging the playhead in 0.5 second increments and then we're adding 180 degrees to the rotation value we're going to be continuing this until we've dragged the playhead to two and a half seconds and the rotation value would be 900 so to carry on this process we're going to be moving this playhead to two seconds and we'll make sure that the rugby ball symbol here is still active and then come over here and make sure that we add on another 180 degrees to this value so 540 plus 180 is 720 so now the rugby ball has rotated two times over two seconds continuing on we'll drag the playhead to two and a half seconds like so make sure the rugby ball here is still active and then add on another 180 degrees to this value so 720 plus 180 is 900 so now at this point the rugby ball has rotated two and a half times over two and a half seconds and that's the end of our pattern we discussed in step 8G and so to continue we would like to think about the final resting position of the rugby ball as you would notice on my tutorial web page we'd like the final resting position of the rugby ball to be on its side and to do this we're going to rotate the rugby ball a further 45 degrees over the remaining 0.5 seconds so we'll drag this playhead here to the end which is 3 seconds make sure the rugby ball is still active and then add on another 45 degrees to this value here so 900 plus 45 is 945 and now that you'll notice the rugby ball is on its side here this means we've finished rotating our rugby ball and as I've mentioned in the web page of my tutorial it's a good idea to save your progress so all you need to do is go to file in the top left hand corner and you save and since I haven't created a folder I'll create one here so new folder Adobe Edge go into that folder and then give this HTML file a sensible name so I'm going to call mine index and then save so now this animation is saved it will be a good idea to view what we've done so far and to do that we go back up into the top left hand corner of Adobe Edge Animate click on file and then preview and browser and here it is this is our main stage here as you would know from our previous steps and just in case you didn't catch the rugby ball rotating 
I'll refresh this page. So on the bottom left hand corner of the stage you've just seen the rugby ball rotate which is what we want so far. And if you continue on to step 9 you'll begin to create the movement of the rugby ball which is to move it up to the top and then bounce it down to the ground until it reaches the bottom right hand corner.